Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel guys. Thanks guys for everybody that have already subscribed to this channel. But if you have not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. If you love hanging out with me live, then you can click on the link in the description bar for the to join the chatter box, which I do uh, at least one live, live stream a month exclusively in that group. You do have to be at least 18 years old to join. It is $1.99. I don't feel that you will be disappointed for your $1.99. Of course, YouTube handle all the payments and everything. So all your personal information is not handled by me. I get that question a lot sometimes. Well, not a lot, but sometimes. But anyway, um, moving right along, if you're not following me on Instagram, I am on Instagram. My name is Miss Serenity underscore Smith. If you're looking for me on Instagram, please make sure you click that follow button. Just in case if I decide to make my page private again, you will be following me on Instagram. Um, and doing that is not a way of being like, oh, I'm trying to be exclusive. Sometimes you just want to kind of keep it you know, more for us Dolly people, but I leave it public right now as a business page because there's a lot of people now just stumbling across the Reborns and they're really fascinated with just watching pictures. They're not necessarily interested in buying, but they just enjoy watching the pictures or seeing, you know, seeing the babies. Some people are just really in awe of how realistic um, our dolls look at this point. And I am in awe of how much they keep evolving as we grow in this industry. Um, the sculptors, the artists, it's just, wow. I mean, can you p remember when you first started it for those that been in it for years and years? And I've, I have not been in it as long as a lot of people that I know. I've only been in it about nine years. And just in that amount of time, I mean, it's stuff have changed so much. I mean, back then, silicone babies you <laughs> forget it them looking halfway real you know that's why people were like ah, i want to reborn because reborns look more real the painting now you can get a silicone painted just as real as a, a reborn if not more but anyway our reborn babies has gotten even better because of course i think um painting those is a, a lot more easier um than the reborn sometime but anyway i am going to introduce you guys to my reborn my current reborn collection i do have one baby that's in the mix that i have been considering selling but i think i am going to pull him off the market and just keep him um i was trying to give people opportunity to get see my painting um and so i had him you know price at a good price but i'm gonna um pull him off so anyway, this is my first baby is my only toddler right now, which is Phoenix. And Phoenix is the limb sculpt by Bonnie Brown, um, painted by me and rooted by my rooter. Um, he is probably about 31 inches, 31, 32 inches tall because I put him on a special body. Um, so he's on a signature custom body. Um, I think it's, it has a signature. <laughs> um, and these are the rest of my babies. So I tried to line them up a little bit color coordinated, but you know. So I'm going to start from now. I think the, it might. Let's see if I can zoom in to Rio, Rico. I want to call him Rio now. Okay, so. All right, let me. So Rico is the Jude by Oga R. He is painted by me, and I don't know. I think he's like 20 inches long or something like that. Um, and so he is the last reborn that I've completed. Um, and then, and he is a baby that's staying. Um, this little boy, his name was, his last name was Amani, but I don't, 
I hadn't renamed him yet. Um, but he is the one. He's a cuddle baby. And I painted him, whew, I don't know, maybe a year ago. Um, and he is the one that I had up for sale for $375. Um, of course, he's, he's just his head that's painted. The rest of his body is cloth. And so, um, yeah, I'm kind of like on the fence, like, uh, keep him, don't keep him. Um, I brought him back. I actually bought him back for my customer. Um, she was going to put him up for sale. And so I, I went and bought him back because I loved him so much. And I still love him. It's just that I'm like, I don't know if I should have done that because I didn't, you know, I got other babies coming. So anyway, so that's Amani. And that is the Rosalie uh, by Ogara, um head. And, um, yeah. So then we have Lily Grace. And, let's see. The lighting kind of sucks a little bit. But anyway, not too, too bad. But Lily Grace is the Make Asleep by Audrey Stoetti. Let me see. You can get their little legs. I don't see. It's kind of casting shadows, but... Their legs all right so that's Mick and then um, next to Mick which is um, which next to Lily Grace is Piper and Piper is half pint by Marita winners and she is also painted and rooted by me and she is a micro preemie so she's about 15 inches um, I think Lily Grace is supposed to be about 16 inches so they're really about the same length, but as you can see, the size of them is way different. Um, and then this is, oh, I didn't realize that covered your, this is um, Aspen by Claire Teller, painted by me, and rooted by my rooter. Um, he is the prototype that I did for Claire Teller, um, and he is my keeper baby and then we have Memphis and Memphis is Alexis by Cassie Brace painted by me and um but yeah so I have all these babies well not all it's not like that many how many is it one two three four five six seven so I have seven babies that I painted um I started to put Christian in the blend just so you guys can see the range of the skin tones. But um, maybe I can remove this one. So let's see. How can we do this? His head is gone off for rooting. So you can't see his head. <laughs> Um, this is his tummy plate. Let's see if I put that here. Just to give you guys an idea. Oh, you smell so good. I'm holding him, sorry. And he doesn't have a head. <laughs> um, but just to give you guys an idea of the skin. Skin tone. Let me see what I can do. So that belongs to a different baby. So as you can see, like all the skin tones are different. <laughs> Sometimes they look similar. It depends on like the lighting, how the lighting catches them, and stuff like that. So um, his tummy plate probably couldn't go with. <laughs> like any of others so yeah so I love doing that I love it it's just something that I love to do I love um I love playing with colors I have another baby that I'm working on um that I'm trying my hardest to give a different color as well um but we will see how that goes but yeah, I just thought I would pop on and show you guys these little munchkins all together. 
Um, I don't have many silicone babies, um, but um, I can do, an, I think I already did a video with my silicone babies together, but I'm just showing my work, but I do have other babies that I love that are painted by other artists um, that is also like usually blended in with my babies. Um, I have one, two, three, four um, reborns from four different other artists um, that is in my collection. I have, I mean, my public collection, I should say. Um, I have a few others from other artists in my private collection, but, um, but yeah, so guys, I hope you guys are having a good, good time. Um, I think I am, I've been getting questions about painting another limb. And as I told you guys, I do have another limb here to paint. Um, but let me show you guys really quick. I do have, like I said, I do have another limb to paint. But, you know, my schedule is very fluid. <laughs> so I never know which way I'm going to go. So I can't say when that limb will get done. But this is the limb sculpt. Um, and... Let's see. So this is his kit. So if you see, it is quite different blank. There you go. I don't know. So it, you know, let's see. And that's like the little imprint for the teeth and stuff but yeah so it's it's pretty cool how they transform i also have another kit um for memphis so i want to paint that one too so i have some a few of these same kits i ordered some aspen so when the kids come in for the aspen i will be painting them as well um i have a lot of Lord to the Ross kits here to paint as well. I have a Jalen, I have a Warren, I have a Luca, I have um, another Cody Bear. I do have one Cody Bear painted already. Um, just waiting his turn for, or his or her turn for hair. I'm really leaning towards trying to see if I can make it a girl, but I gotta have to see after hair if I could pull the girl thing off with the Cody Bear. Um, I've seen some pretty girls, but you know, it's all in the painting and the hair on um, what makes them look more girl um, than boy when the sculpt is sculpted from a real boy. So, um, anyway guys, if you have any special requests, oh, and I should show you, I should do their feet in the air because I paint all my baby's feet different. <laughs> It's so funny. Um, I like to... So, I think preemies are usually pretty, really red-like. So, I usually... And they usually have very pinky feet, seem like. Um, so, I usually do a lot of pinky feet on the red, on the preemies. Um, sometimes more than others. Um, throw your feet in the air if you just don't care. Let's see. Oh, you see, oh, mama, I ain't that flexible. Okay, so he not that flexible, but that's his feet. Let me zoom in. Oh, it is zoomed in. Shoot. But that's his feet. <laughs> Wait. Let's see. So, this is his foot. This is his foot. This is her foot. This is her foot. That little boy feet. And I love his feet. Limb feet. Uh, so. <laughs> Y'all see my junk over there. So yeah. I love feet. 
I should do a, just a, a crazy video on some of the quirky things that I love about painting. What parts that I, <laughs> I go crazy about, like what I look for in sculpts and the best parts. I love painting on dolls. Um, anyway, guys, again, I appreciate you guys and all your support. I will try to get a video up later. Um, and I want you guys to be safe. Try to stay as healthy as possible and be kind. You never know what someone's going through. Don't always assume that it is about you. Um, and just remember that sometimes people are going through things in private and you may not understand it or know it. So before you assume that someone is acting funny or just, you know, being quiet, just consider that they may be having their own issues and it's not about you. I had to learn this myself. And um, so I just want to um, put that out there in the atmosphere. And I know it's not doll related, but we are not dolls. We're humans. And these are our little fake humans. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.